These are the eggs of a pink ram's horn snail. They were laid less than 12 hours ago, and the water temperature in the aquarium hovers at around 82 degrees Fahrenheit or 28 degrees Celsius. This relatively high water temperature was maintained in order to speed up the development of the eggs as well as to increase the growth rate of the baby snails when the eggs hatched. In this particular egg case, there are 29 egg capsules, and inside each of the egg capsules, there's the very beginnings of a baby ram's horn snail. Be sure to notice that all of the baby snails are positioned at the bottom of their egg capsules, and this is due to the gravitational pull of the Earth. On day two, the baby snails are a little larger, but there's not much else to report. However, on the third day, these little snail embryos are moving on their own. Yes, these little larval snails can move thanks to a ring of tiny hairs known as cilia that beat rapidly and enable the larva to move around inside the egg capsule. And now, let's jump ahead 24 hours and see how fast these snails can change. They've doubled in size since yesterday, and now we can see the beginnings of the snail's shell as well as its foot. However, the foot is still growing and won't be used for crawling until tomorrow. The number of worms in the tank also seems to be growing as well. And it's important to point out that all of the worms that you're about to see are on the outside of the egg case. Be sure to notice that the liquid inside the egg capsule has a slight current. This current is created by the tiny hairs known as cilia that I mentioned earlier. But now, these hairs line the external surface of the snail's foot. And even fully grown ram's horn snails have cilia on the bottom of their feet. At this stage of their development, the shell is shaped like one side of a clam shell, rather than the typical spiral shape that we see in the adults. Here we are on the fifth day of development. The baby snails are much larger, but there's still a long way to go. The snail's transparent shell gives us a clear view of the two-chambered heart as well as various other internal organs. This baby snail is one of two snails in this group of eggs that is not an albino, and those little black eyes are a sure sign that this is one of them. Just below the eyes are these two bumps, and these are the very beginnings of the snail's tentacles. Now, let's jump ahead 24 hours and see how much they've changed. At this point, the snails can barely fit inside the egg capsules, and in a little over 10 hours from now, these tiny snails will begin to break free. So, let's jump ahead to that now. And since these snails move at a snail's pace, I'm going to speed up the video to twice the normal speed. Here, the young snails are breaking free of their egg capsules, but their newly formed mouth parts are fairly weak, so it takes a bit of time and effort. And once they break free of the egg capsule, it will still be several hours before they're able to break free of the larger egg case that holds them all together. And now that the protective walls of the egg case have been breached by the emerging snails, all of the various worms in the aquarium begin to make their way inside looking for a meal. So while these snails are making their way out, several worms will be making their way in. Some of these worms are shy around bright light, so I've decided to dim the lights and see what shows up to investigate the snail's leftovers. At 
this point, there are still 12 snails left in the egg case, and several different worms are approaching. 